Hi everybody, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Please excuse that little mess back there. I just don't uh, have the energy to put up my walls. So we're just going to do a little video, get ready with me. And for a while now, I would say about two months, maybe more, I have really been working on my skincare and I've gotten my skin pretty much how I want it to be. I'm working on some dark spots but I can cover that with concealer. So what I wanted to say is that I have been going without foundation. Um, this is a really big step for me. I do use a little powder sometimes to set things and especially if I'm going out and it's hot and it has been very hot here in Florida. It's nice to see all of you. And yes, the last video I did, was the video I did with my mom for Mother's Day. So it's been a while. I'm looking for like a little clip. I have my hair um, kind of like the Shirley Temple uh, curls for now. I'm going to uh, comb it out later. I've gotten a little sweaty up in my forehead. So I have a little rag here. I put the air conditioning a little lower so that I can do this but with some of the lights and even the chair I sit in isn't the coolest chair. It's kind of like that pleather material. Let's get started. Let me move myself a little bit closer to you. I think that's good. Okay, now the top of my head's not really in frame, but we'll work with it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a base on my um, eyelids and this is the NYX or NYX eyeshadow base been using that and I really like it it helps to keep it's setting a little higher kind of high for you though yeah that's better it helps to keep my eyeshadow in place for hours and it also covers the redness and kind of veiny lids that I have I'm going to just use like a flat brush. This is um, the Santi. I think I got it in one of my um, beauty subscriptions. I get Birch Box and I've gotten that for a number of years. And I used to get Ipsy and then I got tired of it. But I've been seeing some... I don't want to be out of the frame and my head is too much cut off. There, that's better. Um, I've been seeing some like uh, reviews or op opening open boxes of the Ipsy or whatever you want to call it. And so I've gone back and signed up for that. And if you're interested in Ipsy, I'm not affiliated with them um, other than uh, I'll put my link if I find it down below. And if you do sign up for them, I get like a couple points and then the more points you get, um, I get like a discount for products. Another thing I've been doing when I do my, mas my mascara, my eyeshadow, I have like two brushes that I use to apply my shadow and then I have one, a dry one that I use to blend. I'm going to be using this peanut butter palette by Too Faced and I do believe that they still have this in the stores and these are the pretty colors I'm going to use these ones down below or actually they're on top this way okay the first color I'm going to put down actually is going to be this extra creamy it's just like a vanilla color and that's just going to kind of set the um, eyeshadow not eyeshadow, the base. You can tell I'm kind of rusty talking, but I never like my channel to be about me being too stiff and professional, let's just say. it's My goal is to just have a place for you to come and it's kind of like we're sitting with each other having coffee and putting on makeup together. Or you're watching me put on makeup. I also have a bit of a balm and I use this product by Milk. It's called the Hero Salve and you can use it for 
anything dryness on your skin chap lips okay now I'm just gonna take that dry brush and just blend it a little bit especially like up here by my eyebrows haven't been really filling in my brows too much either you know here and there they're they're pretty full as as it is okay then I'm going to take this next color here which is the peanut butter color dip my brush into there and I'm going to go in the outer part of my um, crease I'm not going to go like past here I feel like doing it that way just opens up the eye more when I put like a dark color all the way through that crease to me it seems like it just closes my eye and I want to open it and back with that dry brush and a little blending and I'm just going for a simple look today I'm going to be spending the day with my parents happens to be my mom's birthday happy birthday mama and uh, I'm gonna spend the day together and then um, in the weekend we're gonna celebrate it with dinner out with my whole family now I'm going to go in with the darker brown which is peanut butter cup it's just a, like a warm brown if you don't have this and I'm gonna go right on the outer corner and then do like a V and you don't have to worry if you get any shadow um, fallout because we'll wipe that off before we put on and the concealer and powder if we use any so yes I haven't been around for a while just been a combination of health and being busy with doctors and busy with family and by the time I am get around to recording I know I have to do other things and I just was too just have been too tired so today I'm getting ready to go out for the day so I thought turn on the camera and it'll be a good time now, I'm just taking a little more of that peanut butter and kind of just going a little bit higher I do that because I have a bit of a hooded lid so I like to put that a little bit higher and the dry brush and now I'm going to go in to the color here which is called extra creamy the one I put on my lid to set the base and just a little bit on my brow bone now I'm going to take another totally clean brush and I'm going to go in to this color rich and creamy. It's like a goldish color. Bronzy gold, I would call it if you don't have this palette. And I'm just going to go like right on my lid in the center. Kind of go up to where my crease starts. And I'll put the camera closer to you so you can see the eye. Now I'm going to blend that a little because it was a little bit too much. Blending is the key of putting on makeup. All right, let me move myself closer to you. As you can see, this is a little bit um, too much, so I'm going to just go and blend that out, make it look softer. now I'm going to take just a makeup wipe I don't use these for removing like washing my face but I use them to kind of spot clean my brush brushes and to also take off a little bit of the makeup that gets on my face and I just picked these up at TJ Maxx and I'm up close to you so that you can see I'm just gonna go like that and I really didn't get much fallout on the bottom so that's good I think if you take a nice light touch, blend a little more, you won't get so much fallout. And let me go back a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take 
an eyeliner, and this is one of my favorite um, eyeliners. But there you go. This is by Physicians Formula, and it's in the color brown. I also have it in the black. In black. I like to use black more for evening, or if I'm wearing like a darker look. And I'm just lining the top lash line. This is a wonderful eyeliner. I always recommend it to people, especially if you have sensitive eyes. Doesn't bother them. I wear contacts and it never bothers them or dries them out. To be very careful with eyeliners because of my sensitive eyes. And I almost, I think this is probably the only drugstore brand that I can use or that I've tried that I can use. The All May is okay, but I like the way this stays longer. So just a simple line across the top. And I was gonna curl my eyelashes before I did that liner, but that's okay. And I'm gonna curl my lashes, and this is a Shiseido curling. I was gonna say curling iron eyelash curler and if you hold one minute I'm getting a call that was my mom and dad letting me know that they are on the way I do drive um, but I have been driving for a few years now I keep up my license and if I need to drive I drive but I still don't have I'm not comfortable with the strength in my legs yet I'm walking much better um, the treatment that I take once a month is helping but as far as driving it's uh, I want to wait till I'm a lot stronger in my legs all right now I'm just going to put on my mascara and I'm just going to use this one by Maybelline it's the Falsies volume express and it's the waterproof because it is a hot day uh, this really stays nice on my eyes and I'll be back with you once the mascara is on okay I'm back I did my mascara I went back with the Physicians formula and just kind of made the line a little thicker and then I just filled in my brows a little bit I've been using this brow stylist sculptor eyebrow pencil by L'Oreal I really like it it's um, in the color I think it's brunette see there in the, can't see Yes, it's in the color brunette, and I like it because it has this little brush where I can just kind of fix up any little mistakes to get the brows in order. And it also has this wax tip that you just go over the top with after you fill them in, and it helps, like if you have bushier or more wild eyebrows, it helps to tame them down. Now, um, I'm going to put on some concealer, and this is... T uh, by Tarte. It's, uh, I forget what they call it, and I don't have my readers here. What else is new? But it's in this like little purple tube. I have the color uh, Light Sand, and I'm just going to go on the areas where I need a little concealing. This is very pigmented, so just little dabs like this work. A little bit on the chin. A little under here. I have a little spot right there. And now I'm going to take just a dry beauty blender, or you can use a brush if you want. I use both. And I'm just going to blend that out. The reason I use the dry one is that I really want the concealer to be at this um, thickness let's say and if I use what if I dampen the beauty blender it's going to kind of thin out the concealer and I don't want that like I said in the beginning of the video I've just been using concealer and I haven't really been using using you can tell that I am 
need to practice more in my videos. But anyway, I've just been using concealer, maybe a little powder, and it's working for me. I really like the way my skin shows through. I have a little redness still here from rosacea, and I can take the sponge with whatever's on there and just kind of go over my cheeks a little bit. You can turn it upside down, whatever way you want to use the Beauty Blender. Or I also like to use brushes like this, and I just dropped the Beauty Blender. One second. Okay. Or brushes like this, and I just kind of do that. I use a combination of both. Then the next thing I do is I set my under eye concealer, concealer, and I like to use my uh, hourglass. I've really gone a long way with this one. This is the diffused light, and I really like this just to go along the bottom area here. It sets it nice, and it gives it not a glow but just really nice and then i'll do around here where my nose gets red and a little on the chin this ambient powder the specific one is not very like you know it's not glittery i don't know about the other ones i don't think they are but i've never tried them i've only used this one in fact this is the first one i ever tried and I still have it. I've had it for a while now but I still like it. All right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of um, bronzer and blush and I'm going to use this palette that I picked up at the Nordstrom sale but you can use any kind of uh, blush or um, bronzer that you want to. Just want a little change. I've been using the Oh, what's the one I love? It's by Benefit. It comes in a box. I've been using that for a while, and the change is kind of good. So I'm just dipping my brush in there, kind of tapping it off. And I'm not really um, contouring. I'm more putting warmth in my face, but maybe a tiny bit in my cheeks here. And over here where I have my little double chin. Look here. So I guess I am contouring, but I'm not doing real hard contouring. I never do. I don't really like that look on me. And especially when you're not wearing foundation, I think a real contoured look, unless you have immaculate skin, just kind of is too much. A little on the end of my nose, a little top here. Now I'm going to go into um, probably both these blushes. And the blushes, the bronzer that I used was the Medium Bronzing Powder by Bobbi Brown. And now I'm going to use Fresh Pink and Nectar. And they're both blush colors. And I'm just going to mix them. And then go on the apples of the cheek. And go ahead and move up. And don't be afraid if you put a little too much blush on like I am right now. We're going to blend that out. I like the way those go on. I'm just going to take this big um, brush by Real Techniques. It's actually a blushing brush. Blushing blush brush. And I feel like I'm so. And I'm just going to kind of blend that. All over. And then sometimes I just go and check my eyeshadow, see if I need a little more touch up. I really don't think I need it. So now is lipstick time. And I'm going to use, am I going to use it? I didn't put it here. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. Excuse me. Very close to you. <laughs> I'm going to use a new one ah! by Laura Mercier. I also bought this at the Nordstrom sale. And it was in the little kit with the lip liner. I'm not going to use the lip liner today. This is the um, Aphrodisiac is the color. Mm. Feels good. I 
It's a very pretty light color. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put a little bit of powder on my face. I've been using this uh, Cover X powder and it's the perfect setting powder and you can use this alone or you can use it uh, to set liquid foundation or cream foundation, whatever foundation formula you use. It's a really good setting powder and I feel like it sort of blurs imperfections and it it looks really pretty photographed you look pretty ugh. the person will look really pretty after let me try that sentence again you look really pretty and nice and sort of flawless in pictures after you use this powder I highly recommend it really like it doesn't bother my sensitive skin and this just kind of takes a little bit of the shine away I get a little shiny sometimes in the summer now I'm gonna go fix my hair and finish getting dressed I'll attach a picture to the end of this of how everything turned out so you can see um, I hope that you are doing well and it's really nice to be back on here I'm gonna try Cross my fingers to be a little more regular with videos. I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. If you are first watching my, this is the first video you've watched of me. Again, my name is Debbie, the Darling Debs. If you'd like to subscribe, just hit that little subscribe button. Uh, YouTube, I'm sure you've seen this with everybody here that records or has a channel. Uh, YouTube sometimes doesn't, uh, tell you whenever your video is released I don't know why but it's just a thing that's happening there's a little bell down there so or down here I think uh, just click that bell and they will send you a email uh, notification or however you set it up when I have uploaded and that way you won't miss any videos take care of yourselves it's really great to be back and uh, I hope to see you soon or I hope you see me soon <laughs> bye bye